African solutions are totally ignored. African people cannot access the wealth in their own country. The wealth must be accessed by Europeans, and then those Europeans must take the wealth, you know, to go and develop their own countries. Although in their own countries, they have started cheating themselves. Because, you know, when thieves come to, you know, get to sharing, uh, it becomes bloody. And that is why you see a lot of revolts and rebellions and sit-ins. A lot of Occupy this, Occupy Wall Street in America, in Germany, in Spain, in Portugal. That's why you see the police increasing its brutality, the military. That's why you see most of Europe becoming military states because the thieves have failed to share amongst themselves. They have started cheating each other. They have grown so accustomed to stealing from everybody. They don't even see a reason why they can't steal from their own people. But African people had their own solutions. African people have their own solutions that are ignored. For example, a government that is failing. Every day you hear our, our, our citizens being chased from national parks. Every day you hear our citizens being arrested with fish. Now, let's take an example of a national park. Thousands and thousands of pushbacks, thousands and thousands of buffaloes, thousands and thousands of rhinoceros, thousands and thousands of elephants. And for what? What are these pushbacks for? Why can't we allow our people to hunt them for meat? That's what they have done for thousands of years. They didn't go extinct because they were there. Why can't we kill reindeers and buffaloes? What happened to the buffaloes of Europeans? What, because Europe also had its own animals, they ate them up. They hunted them. But instead, we are allowed to give a hunting license to a European to go and kill a buffalo. And yet when our people go and kill a buffalo, they will be ostracized. They will be taken in court. They will be charged and they will be sentenced to life in prison. This is totally unbelievable. It is totally unbelievable that you can have people who have nothing to eat. And yet there are all these animals occupying beautiful plains, occupying beautiful land that can be used for irrigation. You, when you want a piece of land, you have to go and buy that land. You have to pay. Your land is measured in decimals. But a lion has 200 square miles. Is this fair? And we are conserving? We are conserving these lions? Conserving them for who? Who needs lions? Because some white people are going to come and pay money to government? And therefore what? Therefore, if, uh, if I go in the national park and just kill one antelope and take it home, that that is supposed to be wrong? That is what I am telling you. The thief has penetrated in every area. He has taken over the forest and he has called it a forest reserve. Now you can't go to the forest to get medicine. The thief has taken over the forest. You can't go to the forest to get firewood. You can't go to the forest to worship or to you know, perform some ritual. You can't go to the forest to take wood. No, the wood must be cut and lumbered and taken over to his country. And even when you cut the wood, he's not going to allow an African solution. For example, in India, most of the wood, when it is cut, it is carried by elephants. Elephants can carry wood. They don't need rods. They can carry wood. So why can't we get the elephants that are in, uh, in uh, Rwenzori National Park or Chidepo National Park or, or the so-called Kabaliga National Park and take those elephants that are in Serengeti, the elephants that are in Savo, why can't we take those elephants and use them for transport, to transport timber, to transport stones, you know, because they are used elsewhere for transport. But no, that is not going to happen. No, because the European wants you to go and buy his trucks. He doesn't want you to get conserving methods, new methods of transport that can transport these ideas uh, into the forest so that you don't cut a lot of forests, you don't make roads. No, he wants you to pay him two million dollars for a kilometer of a road and while doing this to cut your trees and see where the minerals are.